Hi, Hi Explorers. Explorers. Greetings from my parents' yard moving up in the world. <laughs> this week I'm so excited, probably more excited than I've ever been, to show you my new favorite room in the house. I say that all the time, or in our RV the bathroom. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to show it you. It really did come out beautiful. I was very hesitant about this. I was, and I, was, I don't know why it's the least thing I was looking forward to doing. I, was, I was probably looking forward to this the most. It turned out great. Right. So our <laughs> renovated RV bathroom. So just to catch you up to speed, if you're looking for tips on how to paint RV walls, we did that last week. So we'll put that down in the description and put an I card in. We also painted the cabinets and we already put in vinyl plank flooring. So we had a lot of the big stuff out of the way already and we got to really get down to the nitty gritty, <laughs> the fun stuff, the decor. But before I got to do all of the finishing touches, which I love and can't wait for you to see. Chris had some serious work to do. Yeah, we had to get rid of that sink and that countertop space. Or we needed more of lack it. Lack thereof countertop space, yeah. When we first got it, it's a very small bit of countertop space and I don't know about you, but like, I, I mean, myself, anyone, that's just not enough space for all your stuff when you're getting ready in the bathroom. So we made it much bigger and we had to make sure it worked for everybody too. Ugh, I just can't grip it enough because this is stuff on my hand from turning. Good news. It's turning. Bad news. It's got a degrees in here. It's one. Good news. The second one's coming out. Bad news. It's not 105. <laughs> Hurrah! So now all these two things are out. So this thing should come out. Hopefully. This is the faucet. What? Oh. Oh. It's not enough space. Look at that. So my idea is to hopefully build it bigger. A bit more space. Bum 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 bum. Did it. Nailed it. Feng Shui is <laughs> so important to me. I wanted to make sure that as soon as you walk into the RV, you get the whole vibe of what we're going for the Scandinavian beautiful I like, look. I like this vibe. This yeah, just... me too. <laughs> we just wanted you to feel that. We wanted to feel that as you're walking through the RV. And yeah. so what we did is we actually took the exact same hexagonal, is that what it would be Hexagon. called? Hexagonal Hexagon. pattern. Hexagon pattern. Is sure. it hexagonal? I don't know. Let us know. We took that exact same backsplash. Hexagonal. That that we put in the kitchen <laughs> and we put it in the bathroom and it it's amazing and we use something called Chris tiles we are like huge advocate of Chris <laughs> tiles because they go on really easy they look great yeah they, they really do look like real tile like the, the way the light bounces off them and they shimmer they look 3d they look real they, they, they do a great job we couldn't recommend them more I bought some trim that's gonna go up here and I'm gonna tile to that Nice and tiny. And we're not going to go down there either. We're just going to go to where the new countertop is going to be. And then I think we're going to paint down here and put a shelf in. I've been told. What I've been told. Take off these covers and then we can get right to the edge. So I've loosened this enough to be able to get uh, behind there when we put in the backsplash. And I'm going to screw it back down tight to the backsplash. So it looks seamless and professional like you just peel and stick but you gotta make sure your measurements are looking pretty good and accurate oh okay here we go here we go here we go you know it's getting there Didn't order enough tile, <laughs> but, so I had this like small gap down here to fill. The nice thing is you can cut these out and you can shape it however you want to do it. So it's going to be a little bit of a tedious task, cutting these out and lining them up down there. But we'll get it done, we'll get it done, we'll get it done, mate, we'll get it done. If 
you've been following our journey, we have had a love-hate relationship with contact paper. I mean, it looks gorgeous. It's a pain to put on and it's a huge pain to get just right. Unless. Unless we found the trick. Unless you're building your countertop from scratch and you just don't even have the countertop attached to the cabinet, you can just take wrap it out. It, just, the whole you, thing. you can just wrap the whole thing, which is what I did outside. And it was so easy. It was like. It was, and it looks prettier. It was very nice and easy to do. So, <laughs> so, top tip just rip your whole countertops out and do them somewhere else. Here is the old bathroom countertop the sink hole cut out. Not going to cut the sink hole up just yet. And then here is our new <laughs> bathroom can. It's not going to be that big, obviously. It's massive. Make sure you measure twice, cut once. It's two dollars more, so obviously measuring, cutting once. We got our. Uh, bathroom count up ready to size here and if you know me I have a very special hate hate relationship <laughs> with this stuff this contact paper marble contact paper but you know what I'm feeling hopeful because this time we're not on the surface we're not we're not connected we can bring it down the sides and tuck it underneath and fold it and all this fun stuff and Fingers crossed. This is the first time since the pandemic that I was able to go into a store. My favorites being Home Goods, TJ Maxx. I'm like a kid in a candy store. And did you hear that? That's a good shot. Gunshot. Okay. Love Eagle Living. <laughs> and I got to find everything. I didn't even know how many stores I'd, I'd have to go to to find everything that I needed. And I got the majority of it in one place at TJ Maxx. I was blown away. You do away. love that store. I really do. Do some touch up work now. I scratch the paint. for watching our RV bathroom renovation. We hope that you love it even half as much as us because we love it so much. <laughs> it, it does look beautiful, so good job. You too. Thank you. <laughs> really weird, super <laughs> awkward. We still have some renovations to go before we can hit the road. We are super yeah. excited to figure out possibly a fireplace space that I'm- Maybe. We're doing it. Maybe. And that we definitely are. And then we have to figure out a lot of the plumbing. We're gonna put some extra work into just making sure that it's really comfortable and things are easy to do because yeah. we really want it to be an easy transition because we're going to be moving places so much. We want to, we don't know, and I would love your help on this if we should consider solar because we would like to do some boondocking, but we understand that it's a huge undertaking and just don't really know if it's worth it. 
So please let us know. We would really like your help and any suggestions that you I mean, have, yeah, literally, please comment down we, we have like our sinks in, but no plumbing done yet with the sink. So we're probably gonna do a whole, whole lot in kind of figuring out the sink situation. And I think at one point we're talking about getting in the filter too, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a whole other thing to figure out, which I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, so fun. let us know if you have any tips because we're gonna tackle it, <laughs> whether we're ready or not. So thank you so much for coming with us on our journey. It means the absolute world to us and we will see you next week. Cheers. Good night, everybody. Good night, Wembley Arena.